we're live. We're live. Hey, we're back. See if we're late or not. I think, oh, we're only two minutes late. That's not oh, too that's bad. bad. That's not too bad at all. I'll take that. Hey, who was looking, um, who was uh, following along with me this week a little bit on Facebook? We were talking about, um, you know, this bib necklace I was going to make and how I thought that if I went ahead with my plan, it was going to maybe look like a hot mess. <laughs> well, I thought, hey, there's Karen Eaton. There she, she's the first one this week. Yay, Karen. Thank you for coming, Karen. Appreciate it. Um, so I thought my, what might be fun, there's Julie, Marsha, Maria Danko, thank you for coming. I thought it might be fun, since we had such a good time last week talking about uh, do this, do that, don't do this, don't do that. You know, you guys, we kind of designed stuff together. I thought, wow, what an interesting concept. Who does that, right? Who does that? And it was just like, um, it, it really reminded me a lot of... Uh, when we get together at the workshop. It's that feeling, you know, we discuss things mutually so many times, you know, should we do this, should we do that, does this look better, does that, what do you think? So anyway, I had this bib necklace in mind that I wanted to make. I had this picture saved, I printed it out from I don't know where, hey Franny, there she is. Here comes trouble. <laughs> I always love to say that. I love to see you here, Fran. Karen Mansell, Denise Ma Masters, Pat Jones is here. I want to get some. Deb Cole, thanks for coming. Little Rhonda Lee, thanks for coming. Um, so anyway, I okay, let me show you the picture I have under this because these are the parts that I put together. Okay, so the picture I had copied was this, and I don't know who made this. Whoever they who made it, whoever made it, did a really nice job. Um, I thought you made it. <laughs> yeah, yeah. You know what? I'll tell you what. I was just about to say that, Harvey. Um, it looks like any number of things I would have made, but no, no, I didn't make this one. I think there's some repurposed stuff in here. Oh. These pieces here look like they were 1928 jewelry earrings at one time, and then for some reason, I'm not sure, but they took and they did some twisted wire around this part, and. I don't want to be critical because, like I said, I didn't make it. So when I didn't make it, I don't like to be critical of someone else's work. But just for the sake of argument, I don't think I would have put twisted wire in there. What do you think, Javi? I mean, Not you can't there. even yeah, see, you, you can't, can't even see it. No, I don't think it goes on a necklace like this. I think it goes on a a different kind of necklace, maybe with a real nice central motif, maybe a few beads. You know, not. Chacha all over the place. Let's see who else joined us. Samantha's here. Debbie Nicolaitis. I gotta still pack up your box, Samantha, but I didn't forget. I had a note here somewhere. Where did I put it? No, it's right over there. I got stuff in. I'm gonna be packing it up probably tomorrow. Uh, Samantha won WTW gifty last week. Yay, Samantha. Yay. Ronaldo's here. Hey, thanks for coming. Javi's here. <laughs> that's a that's a good thing because I don't know how to do this by myself yet. We were just talking about that the other day at the, for me to learn and Diane to learn too just in case Javi has to eat sushi late sometime or has to go away because everybody needs a vacation and sometimes she goes to Chile so we'd have a couple weeks there that we'd have to manage on our own. Yep. yep. She says <laughs> Cindy Baker, Melissa's here. Melissa and Harpo, not just Melissa. Melissa and Harpo are here. Um, so anyway, we got the start of a really good group. So anyway, looking back at this picture, I love this piece. It's, it's nicely done. I like the way that they've taken these two filigree here, which would not be cast pieces. They're, uh, they're brass stamping of some kind. I like that, and I was going to do that. But when I went to look for something in classic gold, because this is all you know, gold findings, I didn't have the right size, so I thought, okay, we're going to have to stay with beads. Anyway, this is going to be my design anyway. I'm just, I'm inspired by this. I'm not recreating it by any means. I I never recreate someone else's work unless Mel tells me it's okay to make a piece of their jewelry or something. Oh, really? Yeah. Well, he's even said that it would be okay for yeah. uh, our pals here to make his jewelry if I have the parts. Go ahead. He doesn't care, um, which is pretty unique. But as for me... I, I don't know about you guys, I'm not, 
I'm not into copying somebody else's work. For me, it's like almost impossible because I go my own way. I tell you that all the time. You know, that's the ADHD girl brain. You don't like, you don't copy. You take a left turn somewhere in the design. So, but I'm inspired by this. Let's see what Deb said. She says, I was wondering about that picture. I kept thinking you had figured some way to make a blot layer look really satiny. Hmm, not yet. Hey, Mary, Man, Mary Man's here. Christine Gertner, Deb Long, Pat Counts. Hi from Houston. Yeah, Deb, we're, we're going to see what happens with this. I think this is a fine design. I like it. I'm personally attracted to it because I'm a more is more girl, not a less is more girl. <laughs> but I'm, I'm trying a little bit to get away from that because I'm seeing that although it's wonderful to have these show-stopping looks or something that just, you know, everybody stops and says, oh, you know, where'd you get that? Um, and then you could tell them you made it and maybe they'll buy it. The fact is... Most people would probably not wear a necklace like this. You guys probably would. I would. But the majority of people would not. So you have to think, okay, do I want to do a showstopper type piece for my booth or for my Etsy? Because you got to have some stuff that, you know, catch people's attention even though they're not going to buy it. Let's see, Veruca Grimes is here. Inspiration is great, copy not so great. I agree. I'm not, I'm not, I'm not, I am not a copyist by any means. I can't do it. It's not in my soul. Hey, Kimberly. Okay, let's see who else. Okay, all right. So I was saying, um, you know, a showstopper for your booth or for your Etsy, that's good. It draws people. People stop and they look because you catch their eye. But nine times out of ten, they are not going to buy your big showstopper piece. They're going to buy earrings or a little bracelet, or a simpler necklace. I know from having my shop, and of course it was in a country area where people don't wear big jewelry, but there, I would never have, well, I wouldn't say never. I had a few people would buy big things, but almost no one would have bought this necklace. There. As lovely as it is. So, I thought, okay, so let's just look at a few things. So let's just look at what it might be like if I did make a necklace like this. Now, I don't know how long this is, but it looks to me like, let's see, go from the middle, hit to here. Maybe, let's call this six. Um, yeah, 18, about 18 inches. I was gonna say 18 inches, so it looks like, because, you know, for your base, you don't want if you do a necklace like this, you don't want it hanging down to tomorrow. It doesn't look right there. For people to really appreciate a necklace like this, it needs to be um, more pectoral style. It means up higher on your chest, not hanging down under your whatchamacallits. So um, that's what I'm going for on this. So we're going to just see. Well, I'll tell you what, I've got my lunch all over my shirt. Good thing you can't see it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I still can't see it. <laughs> wasn't that great of a lunch either. You know, if you had McDonald's, it wasn't that great of a lunch. McDonald's. Yeah, McDonald's. It's so bad for you. Okay. So now I'm going to cut this off at 18 inches. And, you know, I didn't make this. I was going to. I was going to sit down yesterday and finish making it. And I didn't because I thought it might be more interesting to do it this way. So we're going to try it. Anyway. We, had such much, we had so much fun last week. So let's see. Betty Strongman, hey! In the Adirondacks, a lovely piece that will most likely not sell. Uh, yeah, I don't think so. I don't think it would sell there either, Betty. It's, it's lovely up there. I haven't been there in many years, but I have been there, and it's beautiful. Yeah, this is for um, a place where people get dressed up a lot. Or maybe somebody that just likes to wear jeans, but they like to really bling it up with their jeans. There's nothing wrong with that. I mean... <laughs> As for me, I mean, I live in Podunk, USA, Ohio, but uh, I wear stuff like this. And usually, I don't wear one piece. <laughs> but lately, I've been wearing much jewelry. I haven't been dressing up a whole lot. But when I do get dressed up, I usually wear a lot of jewelry. Okay, so I've got an 18-inch piece. So this way, we can kind of take it and take the pieces that I've put together, and I can see what you guys have to say, and we can talk about the less is more things. So first... 
You know what? I don't need this anymore. We're going to go our own way. I don't need that anymore. You guys got the point. This is the type of piece I'm looking to make. Okay. So I made all the little pieces, bibs and bobs that are going to go on this up already for the most part. Okay, let's get the middle section. Here, so we're working right. Oh, you got it. Okay, this is where the middle is. So I, if I was to, well, you know what? Maybe I'll just hook this up and put as much on it as I can. And then maybe I'll take it apart slowly and we can see what we got underneath. If we don't get it all done today, no big deal. We can do it next week, right? Okay. And I took that big thing of pearls out of here, didn't I, Javi? I don't know oh. what that is. Uh, I did this morning. Well, you know what? I'll, I'll take this one apart. Because what I want to do, what I had in mind, is putting this piece on something to drop it, just like the other piece had. Or else it'll just get buried under everything. So I wanted it as a drop. So I'm going to take this one apart. And I'll just use this. You guys, I have to tell you, I got another shipment of uh, those random pearls the other day. How many here have ever gotten one of those from me? I think a lot of you have. Well, I just got this random shipment. And um, I'm all, always in love with them. They're always great. But this time was the total bomb, let me tell you what. Um, and, you know, I always said, oh, these are Japanese cultura pearls, you know. But this time, I didn't have to guess about it because there was a tag in the bag that said made in Japan. So, they're 1960s Japanese cultura, which usually means that um, it's got a plastic base. This does. Not always. It could be glass, but these are plastic. But they have a much better coating on them than a normal costume pearl would have. They sometimes use a fish knocker, which is <laughs> sounds weird, doesn't it? Fish knocker. It's NAC. RA. It's made from fish scales, and that's what makes pearls all glowy if they're costume pearls. Miriam Haskell pearls had that on them. Uh, many pearls do. So, um, anyway, that's uh, that's what these are. They have the better coating on them where they actually dip them all one at a time, or on a rack anyway, so they have to wire them up then one at a time. But, anywho, so these are A little better than that. That's all I gotta say. Like a lot better than that. You know, they they are good stuff. I don't know how much longer I'm gonna be able to get them. So all I can say is this load was outstanding, and I made a bunch more packages this morning. If you want them, come and get them. Uh, so I'm gonna probably put in for another order this week, and just hope I can get it. Cause one day people are gonna figure out. And it will be there. So that's all I can say about that. All right. I would like to put a bead cap on, but I think the bead caps I have are too big. Yeah, they're too big for that. So I'm just going to take this into a set and get it ready. See, I want to get these going the same way. You guys know about that. You know, I've got the loop under here going this way. So the one I do up here, I want to get that way too. So it will hang right. Although, yeah, it will matter because, yeah, it definitely will matter. I was thinking maybe it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter because, okay, stay still, people. Not people, this thing. <laughs> not people, the thing. I know what you mean. Okay, um, because I've got a pendant, and it's not going to be just like another pearl that can hang any which way. It always looks the same, no matter how you look at it. This one's definitely got a central motif that needs to go a certain way. So, okay, here we go. Here we go. I don't have a lot. A lot of room to wrap on them, but it's okay. Susan says she has them. They say they love that chain. Yeah, this chain is the gold tone um, bead, and link, bead chain. and link chain. And I don't know if we have any on the site or not. This is my own stash. I don't know. We might not. Uh, you, you know we what? probably do. Actually. Somebody could go run and look. Or, no, you don't have to run and look. Just look on the, she'll yeah, look on the site. She'll look on the site for you because she's got her iPad up. Man, are these tough. Well, anyway. Let me just... Um, what is it? The, the the head pins are tough. Yeah, these oh. the ones I was working with last night were like butter, butter, but not these. I guess we don't have any. We don't have any. 
Yeah, and I usually buy a whole lot of it because it doesn't sell real quick. But then when it does sell, then I'll have it for a while. And I think, yeah, I was talking to my guy last week because I get ball and head pins from them too. And uh, they were out of like everything. And the ball and head pins are pretty much eaten up. I couldn't even get gold ones. Wow. So. The silver ones were all I, You know, I had a chance to do a deal with a Chinese factory. I think they make my supplier in the States pieces for them and I was going to do it and I thought the price wasn't quite good enough to warrant the shipping because it's expensive but then I discovered I was wrong so I think maybe it's time I called them back or email them back okay so now I'm going to get this through here and of course it's a little too stiff to get through here so what do you do which I had a brooch here I know what I'll do Yeah, this this is kind of wonky, but it'll work. I'm gonna make this hole a little bit bigger because my jump ring is uh, 18 gauge. It's a little bit heavy. I should have maybe a wider one. Okay, that might have cleared it, the opening enough that it'll go on. Geez, Brenda, at this rate, you're never gonna get anything done. Yeah. There we go. See, that worked. It takes time. It does. It's hot in here too. I just noticed that. I must have. I must have. Did you turn? Wait. Did I you must have turned down the air conditioning or something, or up, or something. Oh, the fan's off, so. <laughs> uh, why, why don't you turn that on? That'll help. Wrong well, here's crunk. <laughs> here's clumsy Brenda. Yeah, these jumps are tough. There it goes. They are tough. These. I don't think these are our regular ones, because our uh, regular. the golden ones are really hard to do. Yeah, the the our regular ones are. Like the silver and everybody really else good. is good. Okay, so now I've got this and it's wiggling good because like if this was too stiff, you wouldn't like that. You wouldn't like. You got to have it so it's you know flexible and it is. Like the chicken. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> Whatever you say, Abby. Okay. So I make sure I'm right in the middle. Again. All right. Aw. Um. Somebody, a uh, says hello. I'm actually able to join. And for the fun today. <laughs> Who's that? Oh, Carla Loves Music. Hey, I'm glad you could. That's great. I don't think you've been around for a little bit, Carla. Nancy Ayers is here. Ooh. Lovermouth Crafter is here. Judy Lynn Travis is here. Thanks, wow. everybody, for coming. This is great. Looks like we're going to have a good group today. That's good. <laughs> and you know, the thing is, and I, I'm sure you guys all know this, but I'm just going to reiterate it. You know, if you miss the live, the only thing that's really bad about that is that, um, you know, you don't have a chance to, to win the drawing because you got to comment on here while it's live. But that's all. I mean, you can come back and watch this at any time. You can watch it over if you can stand to be on here that long because they do, they do tend to run long. <laughs> nah, yeah, they do. Okay, so let me see if I got this on here straight. Okay, it's going to go this way. Do you guys do this? When you get your central motif on, do you, do you pick your chain up and see how it falls to make sure it's all going the right way? If you don't, it's a good idea. Okay, so now I've got... And this is another reason I love this chain because um, it's real easy to count off. And while we don't have it in um, gold right now, we do have a lot of it in brass, ox, and silver. Tons. Or a lot, anyway. And I think we have some in copper ox, too. I'm not sure. You'll have to look. Okay, so. The way the other one had, it had some kind of big pieces right here. And I think I would do that, too. I will probably start big and graduate them up still. Um, let me just lay them out at first and get a feel for it. Do you guys do that? Or just start hooking stuff up? No, I get a feel for it first. Yeah, I'm, it kind of makes sense, doesn't it? But it not, just a, does. not everybody does. No. You know, whatever works for you. But if you're thinking of an idea to put and you're like, eh, that doesn't look good. Don't right. worry. I, don't hook it all I hate to call you Glabbermouth, but I don't know your real name. Don't worry if you can't buy it. No, don't apologize about not being able to buy stuff. You know, if you're if you're able to, that's great. If you're not. Believe me, nobody understands more than I do. So, you know, I, I appreciate the ones who are able to because they keep us going. But, you know, not everybody can. Not everybody can every week. So that's how it is. Hey, Luann. 
Noit here. I'm so glad you made it. Janice here, or Violet, I should say, is here. C. Lombard is here. She's, oh, she says she takes a picture too. Very smart. And you know, these days it's so simple, isn't it? You know, we've got our phone, you know, I mean, how hard is that? So I'm going to go ahead and hook these up. I seen a picture in it, and I noticed it had like a piece of hair next to it. I think it was on Pinterest. <laughs> well, see, that's the thing about taking your pictures. This is on jewelry, yeah. <laughs> because, you know, if you're planning to sell that piece, can you imagine if you put that on Etsy? How dumb you'd feel. And you, and you can bet somebody would get in touch and say, hey, you know, there's a big hunk of hair on your picture. I just seen that. I was like, oh man, that would be definitely me. <laughs> There's nothing reveals your errors more than taking a picture of something, right? I mean, you that's do that, so you're going to see what's right with your piece and everything that's wrong with it, too, which is good, because then you can fix it before anybody else sees it. Hardy, har, har. Okay, so this is looking pretty good so far. Now, I could... You know, to make this a little simpler and easier for some people who are timid to wear, I could just, because I, I got a big centerpiece in these big pearls here. Now, I've got to balance it, but I could go for smaller pieces going up to maybe here and stop there. So we'll do that, and we'll see what it looks like at that point, okay? So, um, but I, do, uh, I don't know, because I've got some bigger pieces, too, I wanted to put in here. But then I thought... Maybe that would be a better jewelry uh, neck chain. Ah, we'll do that later. Okay. <laughs> Nothing thinking out loud, huh? That's what she does. A lot of thinking out loud all the time. Okay. Yeah, let's think out loud. Yeah, but when you're trying to teach somebody something, it's just that probably not really appreciated. <laughs> it's like, tell me straight. Give me the straight dirt. Don't just walk around the bush. They say they Don't beat around the bush. I Tell me the straight the dirt. <laughs> okay. Somebody said, I need the gold bead and link chain. <laughs> you need the gold? Well, you're going to be waiting because they don't have any. They didn't have anything. Oh, Sorry. Okay. I don't mean to sound harsh. Oh, that's Maud. Yeah, Maud, you know we'll have it later. <laughs> you know that. I mean, we'll have it. And I'll buy I'll more this time so it lasts longer. Another thing that we're out a lot of is um, our 22 karat gold plated piece of 1928. We are doing a real scouring of the Bisou Boutique's website. And we're trying to figure out, you know, what's worth to, to reorder because it's time for a big reorder of many things right now. What's worth reordering and what isn't? And what we don't think is worth reordering is going in what we call the clearance warehouse. And it's deep discounted. Most of it is minimally 20 to 25%. And there's, there are quite a few pieces that are half off. And here's the dealio. Here's what's really sweet. You can, you can still use your coupons on top of that. That is insane, but you can. So um, that's, you know, permanently you could do that. And of course this week we have a real big one. I'm gonna do this. We have a real big one if you do a bulk order you get 25% off of 100 and that's code L-A-B-O-R. If you wanna write it down, labor. We had it Labor Day, that's why it's labor. L-A-B-O-R, all caps. Um, yeah, is that over? That's going to be over Monday night at midnight. And then it will be no more because that $100 minimum for 25% off is a very low minimum. And because I'm not Michaels and I don't sell Michaels quality stuff, I sell higher end material. And I, I can't do this. So anyway, I'm not going to get into all that blah, 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 blah anymore. That's business <laughs> stuff, and you guys don't need to know that. It's not even interesting. But anyway, so we're scouring everything. And where it, where it applies to you is that you can go over there to the clearance warehouse, scarf up screaming deals. There's, over, there's as much in there as there is in our Etsy right now. That's good stuff. Most of it is permanent markdown. Some of it is temporary markdown, meaning it may go back in stock in a little bit after we sell some of it down. 
Okay, that's going together pretty. So, um, anyway, take advantage of that and take advantage of the coupons while we have them, which we're having them. You can do 10% off of anything, no minimum, through um, Monday night at midnight, or you can do um, the big coupon, the labor coupon. 10% is one, you know, 10 and, 10 and then percent, all caps. I don't know if Javi wants to write it down. On the, yeah, she'll show you. Um, so that you don't mess it up and mess up. So, anyway. <laughs> okay, so. What if I put this here? I don't know. I don't know. Maybe I should have put it here. What do you guys think? Should I put it here or should it go up here? It seemed to me like maybe, but then maybe it's too close to this. Or maybe I shouldn't use it at all. Even though it's so pretty, maybe I should save it for another project. Do you ever think that, oh, I've hooked all this stuff up. You know, what am I going to do? It's like, well, you don't have to use it then. Deb says, it scares me to see some of my favorites in the Clarence Warehouse, especially if you see 19 20. I have to I have to pare that line down. Not everything in that line sells. And I can't keep buying stuff that doesn't sell. The same for you guys. You can't keep making designs that don't sell. So if it's in there, it's probably there to sell. And I won't have it again, maybe ever, or maybe not for a long time. I have to concentrate on the pieces that sell quick. That's why the gold line is half sold out. And nothing is there because I put money in stuff that doesn't sell well. So, you know, there's always going to, there are always going to be pieces in there. Somebody's like, oh, no, go away. Oh. And, I hey, I hear you. But it's just a lesson in being a good business person. You, you can't. That means it must, yeah. You, you know, if, if a bunch of people like it and a bunch of people want to buy it, then, you know, then you want to get it all the time. But what Diane did when she was doing the research, this is interesting, too. You guys might want to know about this for yourselves. Um, our website will tell you when we entered it into stock, what we paid for it, how many people have bought it, and when was the last time anybody bought it. And some of these people, pieces, not people, some of these pieces haven't sold for a long time. So we got to make room in, in our stuff for things that do. Which one's your best seller on for the, all the colors of BC1920? A silver. Silver. Yeah. I and I always buy that deeper, so that's why it doesn't tend to run out quite as fast. The, yes. twin, the, the gold stuff, I was very tentative about because it's more expensive, in case you haven't noticed. And, it's uh, so beautiful. It is so beautiful. And, you know, you can always darken it down. If it's too bright for you, you can always put a little bit of acrylic paint and darken it down, and you're good to go. But anyhow. Um, but, yeah, no, it took off like a shot. People people love that line. So I have to keep it stocked. So all I can see is, Deb, take advantage of the discount and get the pieces you love and have them. Same with the green stuff. Hi, Gloria. Um... Thank you, Marsha. You love my design so far. Well, you know what? I think it looks better than the mess I had going on yesterday. Because what I did yesterday when I was showing you guys, I had all these desert rose pieces in here, too. Because I love that bead. You know, there's a big story behind that bead. I'll tell you another day or later <laughs> if we have time. But anyway, so I was going to put them... It's just too busy with that. And I'm not quite sure this pink really goes with this pink. What do you guys think? I don't think so. No, it's too bright. It's, it's not quite right. So it needs to go on something else. So just because I hooked them all up yesterday to put in this design doesn't mean I have to use them just because of that. So it can go in another design. That's where less is more. Making sure that you have the right thing for your design. And not too much of the wrong thing or none of the wrong thing. So anyway, I was telling you about the green stuff. I love that green stuff. When I showed Mr. Bernie that green line, he loved it. And I never thought he would love that because it's just so outside the, I don't know, so outside the lines for him. But uh, he loved it. He's oh, that's going to be a hit. Well, uh, people like it. They like that patina stuff for sure. 
but it's just not sewn really hot. So I'm going to keep that line, but I'm not going to have as much stuff in it. You know, I have to be smart. If I want to keep that line and not have it go completely away, which would be awful, I have to care for it properly. This, this was part of the big Dutch uncle discussion that Mel and I had this weekend. So, um, and he never steers me wrong. I'm thankful for his mentorship, and I'm always happy to, you know, send along some of the wisdom to you guys, because why shouldn't you? I mean, I, I, I was saying, whoops, I was telling my editor the other day, she was saying, oh, I think you're um, only writing your book for one target audience, you know, I think, um, hi, Joan. I don't think it's broad enough. I said, well, I know who's going to read this book. I know who's going to read this book. You know, it's going to be people who collect 1928. It's going to be designers, people who want to design, people who are thinking about making jewelry, blah, 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 like that. People who would like some tips about how to learn how to develop a jewelry design business. You can't get better than this. I wish I'd had a book like this when I did mine in the 90s. Let me tell you what. And I wish... I wish that I could just share everything that I learned from Mel with you because it's such so helpful. It really is. You know, you know, somebody that's made it work for 50 years and has been so famous that they know so much and they want to share it with me. Well, then I want to share it with you, you know. Yeah, Claire, the gold is spectacular. That's it. Sometimes it's a little bright for me. But I really like the way it responds. Brenda, did you bring your mirror today? No, I did not. This is my suitcase. Fortunately, I didn't put my suitcase away in a garage yet. So, um, let me get that out. Maybe, I don't know. See, I'm trying to think. See, we're not filming from directly across here. We're filming from above. So, I'm not sure the mirror is going to really help anyway. But let me, let me try out some stuff, Marsha, because I loved your idea. That probably will only work when we're filming, like, straight on. Yeah, so I've got three going up here, three going up here, okay. So, yeah, so anyway, take advantage of those deals in there. You can still use your coupons on them. we got a big one going on right now, so, I mean, you can clean up. Some people have, and I'm happy for them, too. And I'm happy to turn, you know, you know what they call it? They call it liquidation. Why do they call it liquidation? Who knows? Who knows why they call it liquidating? We're liquidating. What does that mean? Well, sometimes it means, yeah, it is great stuff, Jana. It really is great stuff when I get to talk to Mel. Um, sometimes when you hear liquidation, that means they're going out of business, right? I'm not. So don't worry about that. Not yet anyway. No, 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 I'm not going out of business. Um, but that's not what this means. This means that and it can happen with you too with your jewelry so this is why it's important it means that you're turning some of your inventory into money you're liquid you're getting it liquid okay that's what i'm doing so that i can buy more of the beautiful beads because you know our site has really grown with the beads in case you haven't noticed you guys love the beads we you know, some might not. You know, it used to be with the brass stampings, we had more than anybody. We don't anymore. And we're not going to. Because we don't need to have them. There's other things that sell better for us. So, the Beast of 1928 sells really good. We have some brass stampings, but there's only certain things that work. You know, so we do that instead. Um, and we're always going to have them, but... Maybe we'll have more pieces that are more like foundation pieces and stuff. Um, I'm always going to have this 1928 line, so long as Mr. Bernie can make it for me, or will make it for me. And he's not threatening to pull a plug, so we're all good. But I want to do more beads and chain, and more of those cutesy charms with the enamel on that stuff. I've seen some beautiful, beautiful glass pendants lately. I'm just salivating to get them. I want to do more bead caps. That kind of thing. Okay, so now to pull this pick color up, because I think making this a little bit less intimidating means don't go so far up the sides with the pearls and all that. Um, 
but this this color is the right color. What do you guys think? Can you see that? I don't know, Javi, if you can zero down on this color. Oh, can we do that? that? She's going to try so you can see uh, it better. You need to get closer in the middle. Okay. Like here? Yeah. Okay. Then I can zoom in. Okay. Alrighty. Are you still trying to figure it out? There. So, can you see that color? That's that's good match. Yeah. Pink rules, Colleen says. This just came in the other day. This is a sugar bead. You guys know about sugar beads? They're usually Japanese. Some are Hong Kong. And they have little bits of if they're glass, because it can be glass or plastic, but they have little bits of color melded into them. This looks kind of like glitter, but it's a sugar bead. These are really special. We just got them. Um, I'm going to right now, because I don't have a lot of them, put them in bead mixes, but then I'm going to get some more and sell them separately too. But anyway, I was thinking to bring that up. Let me just put that jump down. What do you guys think? Okay, so I've got this like this. Let me just kind of fan it out a little bit. Okay, is that good, Javi? Or maybe a little bit farther down? Yeah. Okay. All right. You guys see that? Okay. So I was thinking maybe to bring up the pink in the centerpiece. Maybe. I don't know. Tell me what you think. I thought maybe I would intersperse a few of these little jobbies in between. If I can make them hang right. Yes? No? Maybe? Forget it? You know, my jury's out. I don't know if I have enough of them made anyway to make it work. No, I only have three. Three. Well, what would you do? Well, it's a sugar bead. Someone at my show absolutely loved the elephant charm bracelet. Yeah, I know you love those charms. I'm going to get more, too. I still can get them. Yes, everybody says yes. Okay, so now I have a problem because, oh wait, I have, okay, I have a few here. I have another one. I didn't wire up enough of them. That's the problem. Should I have them like going all the way up? How's that look? I don't know if I like that. It kind of, it kind of breaks up. I mean, it's classy, like the way it is with the pearls. And then if you go put those in there, I don't know. I don't know. I'm in a corner. No, I don't like the pink beads. No, I'm not liking them either, Debbie. If you went out of business, I have time on it. Don't worry, Fran, I'm not. That's why I'm doing things smart. You know, I'm getting things organized better, but you guys are going to love it anyway. So it's all good. I'm not going out of business. Don't even go there. Don't have to worry about it. Um, so, okay, I'm taking these out. I think this is another lesson for us. You know, of not to charge stuff up. You know, yes, yeah, pink, this is pink, that's pink. Okay, we should be fine. But this is going to be more elegant the way it is. And you know, when you think about like how 1928 did their stuff, they would have a rose maybe on a focal. Or maybe they'd have that little Y centerpiece thing here, which I don't have one that I can use right now. But if I did, I'd be using it. And then they'd put another one on there. And that'd be it. You know, the rest of it would be classy. And in fact, they probably wouldn't even have this much stuff on there. Because, you know, that's how they are. So, I liked, if I was going to put something in here, maybe crystal. Now, the only thing bad about these, we have these on the site too. The only thing bad for this design is they are on silver head pins. And I don't know how much that matters or not. This as depends on the person. You know, normally a nicer piece, I would want it to not be mixed metals in any way. But just to give us a feel for it, I'm gonna stick them in there. I might even hook them up just to, you know, for giggles. Yeah, this, to me, if you're going to go a little bit more over the top and put more in there, yeah, these are pretty, too. Um, Those would be good as earrings. They would make good earrings. 
I would say go with something very neutral. You see how that works out, guys? And then I would put maybe one more up here. Green, let me pull it down. This is why the iPad is so good, because you can see what's going on. Okay, can you see where I'm going with this? A Julie kid said no crystals. <laughs> and she says no crystals. Okay, well, let's see what the rest say. Something gold. Well, I don't have any gold beads to put there. But you know what? I do have something we can kind of uh, get an idea what if we did have gold beads. Yeah, it kind of needs like... Okay, so something. here's some gold. So I don't, I don't have more of these beads. In fact, I've used all I had up to make this section here. But like, what if I had gold like that? Now, you know what, that's too tiny, you can't even see. I don't think I wanna put like a gold filigree metal bead in there, that'll look cheap, I think. So, for gold, I don't know. Clear is better, no crystals, something gold, Gloria said too. Yeah, I agree with Marsha, too cluttered with crystals. I think so too, Marsha. I, I would rather not have all this chach on here. I would rather strip it down a little bit more. Agree with the yeah, gold. Sorry, don't like up. the pink. No, we're not doing the pink, JC. Don't worry. Um, you can always put them on. Yes, I could. I could go back. To, hey, Susie B, you made it. Good. That's good going. Let's just take them out of here. Yeah. Bye-bye. All right, now. So now the question is... Do we want to keep going up the sides with these pearls? I could. I have I have some more. But I don't know. I just think they're kind of all one size ish and I don't know. Three I think is good enough. So anyway, I'm gonna take this thing and I'm gonna see how far it hangs down. And sadly I can't show you, but this is perfect. Let me tell you what. I kinda like it just with the pearls. It's, like it's, that. Yeah, it's perfect. Yeah. Okay. The the motif or the pendant, it comes just above my, you know, whatchamacallit. So it's perfect. It is the perfect like length. Just, like that just the leave it like this. Leave it the hay alone and don't keep going. Now in the past, I would have filled every spot all the way up and all the way back. And I would have just loved it. But I think and it's kind of a little bit kind of hard for you guys to see it because where you're at because you know it looks a little blah here but it doesn't look not not in person it doesn't it does not look blah in person that's the thing about the internet sometimes you can't always show people how wonderful things are so now i'm looking for a class and of course one is not presenting itself so i have these but they're too big i don't want that I just need a simple lobster. Oh, here's one I can use. I'll just use this one here. Oh, I'm good shape. Usually if you look around in this mess long enough, you'll find what you need. You guys are like that too, I bet, with your stuff. Yeah. Let's see what everybody's saying. Bye, Betty. Betty had to leave. Well, of course. Was that my Betty, Betty Strongman? She probably had to go make dinner. dinner. You know, we were doing some research trying to find out what the perfect time for YouTube is. And you, yeah. and you know what Javi found out by looking at the analytics? Right now. Right now on Sunday is a perfect time. Even though I know it's not perfect for everybody, it's, it's the best time to be seen because it's not quite dinner time yet. So, anyway. Hey, Christy. She says it doesn't look blah from here. Thank you. You're a sweetheart. You know, everybody's going to have a different opinion, you know. Everybody's going to have a different opinion. So, you know, what's different about this than the, the original? Well, I'm going to get the paper back out and we can look at it. And again, what's the product number for the large pearls? Um, you go, go to the bead mixes, Kara. Go to our bead mixes. Go to the bead section. You'll see it on the nav bar. It says beads. And then just do the drop down and you'll see beads of bead mixes. Go in there. You'll find them very easily. Is it the one with? In the box now? No, I, I took those off. Okay. No, it's the bead mix. And I think we still have maybe nine or ten, so. Okay, so I'm putting a lobster claw in here. And then I kind of feel like I need a little bit bigger 
of a, a jump fur on here. So let me just poke around and see what I can find. Because I like, I like to put an extender on all my necklaces. Do you guys do that? Practically everything I make has an extender. Here we go. Now this is not the perfect match. This is matte gold. But for now, I'm putting it on there so I can show you the extender thing. How many like to put extenders on their necklaces? Yeah, I know that one, Marsha. Yeah, that would be good. Maybe I'll go out and look for one after we're done and put it on. Judy says it's not a good time for her. You know what, Judy? There's never going to be a perfect time for everybody. And I found that out, so I just said, you know, I'm just going for it because this is when I can do it. And, you know, here's the thing. If, if, uh... I'm just thinking because I'm trying to snip this off. If you can't make it on time, you know, there's always, you can always come see the archive version. It's like you haven't missed anything except for the contest. And I know you guys like to sign up for that, but there isn't much I can do about that at this time. So that's kind of where we're at. Yeah, Marsha, I'm going to go get that one when I'm done here and put that on. Because I know exactly which one you mean, unless it's sold out now. I just ordered a bunch more clasps. But they won't be here for a little bit. Okay, so now what I did is just to, you know, show you. And, of course, now this is a matte gold jump, so it doesn't match. But I will get another one. Always an extender, yes. Thank you, Lynn. That's kind of you. Now, this is an 8 millimeter, and that's a good idea. Because then that way, when you put your claw, lobster claw on to catch it, it's never going to, like, jam up. If you put too small of one on there, it'll jam up. And... Sometimes you'll break your necklace or the lobster claw trying to get it off. Or just strangle yourself practically. Ever have that experience? I have. I didn't enjoy it. So, um, anyway, so I'm trying to think what for the end. Okay, well, I'm going to use that. This is going to be my finial. It really, really gets to me when I... doesn't matter which side of the lobster claw is on. To me, it doesn't. Some people might say it does. I always put it on this side. Maybe it's because I'm right-handed. I don't know. Um, I would say uh, take take your pliers with you when you do a show because somebody might want to do a swap. I do the lobster claw on that side. Do you? Yeah. I always have. I would just say suit yourself, honey. <laughs> suit yourself. I'm guessing if you're right-handed. And if, and if you, um, you know, take it to your shows or whatever and people say, or like you're selling it on Etsy, and uh, they say, could you put it on the other side? Hey, this is pliers work. We can accommodate them, right? Yeah, we can do that. So I put another eight here, and then I put a finial bead. And I hate it when I see stuff where it's just a strand hanging out. Now, if you do that, I'm not trying to be critical of you. I'm just saying it, just needs it doesn't look finished. And I'm not going to say who does it. It's none of you. None of you guys. Even if there's a tag. I Professional would, companies. Would be good. <laughs> so I don't, to me, it's not finished. Yeah, or a tag. Um, you know, if you leave this hanging down because you want it the shorter length, then you got the design tag hanging down your back. Do you want that? I think a bead looks better. So that's me. But you can do what you want. So I can, it's, it's all hooked up. It's ready to go. Now I'm trying to think, how can we do this? If you took a picture of me with this on, Javi, would you be able to upload the picture on the, the uh, feed? No, I can't. No, I can't. I didn't think so. That's too, that's too hopeful, isn't it? Okay. Well, you know what? She'll take one after the video. Won't you have you can yeah. take a quick picture for me? It don't have to be perfect. And then you can all yes. I keep saying yes. You can all did it again. Um, you can all see, but to me this is done like this. Without introducing another color, we've got gold for our main color, primary color. We have the pink roses. We have the little pearls. Now, I did say at one time, and I don't know what happened to that piece. I had a piece of rhinestone chain here. Here it is. I did say I was going to put the rhinestone chain around here, and everybody liked that idea. What do you think? Should I go ahead and do that? Let's see if I can get it later. I don't know. Yeah, I'm, I'm, everybody liked it. In a way, it's like, ooh. In another way, I'm like, hmm, is it too much? I don't know. I think it's too much. You wouldn't do it. I know you wouldn't, Javi. I think Javi's very conservative. It is. it is pretty the way it is. 
But just, you know, we got a few minutes here so we can yeah. we can experiment a little bit. I love the fire of this stuff. Is that the This is the, the rhinestone, rhinestone yeah, chain? which we ran out of because we did all those boxes and No, bags. we didn't. Somebody oh, did you just, Somebody did you, just count it wrong. Oh, count it wrong. Okay, that's good. Well, we do have some. <laughs> but I am going to get another roll. I get a really good price on this type. And I love the two millimeter. It just goes better. I don't know. Can you guys see? Let's see. What nope, not, not with this. The pearl is beautiful. Brenda, if you put that it on, place the mirror almost flat on your surface, I think we'll be able to see it. Can I do it here? I can try. Javi, can you go in the bathroom and get that hand mirror? Yeah. It's in the basket there. We'll try. What do you guys say? No cup chain. Karen says yes. Deborah says no. Karen, and the other Karen says no. Thank you, Melissa. Okay, I'm going to try Marcia's, uh, Marcia's suggestion. Okay, so she wants me. Is it cleaned off or is it all spotty with water and garbage? You know how stuff gets when you're trying to do your makeup and stuff. You don't really worry about having that, your, your mirror look fantastic. So I put like a two inch extender on here. Let's see it. Marcia says no cup. Well, Marcia says, what can I say? Marcia's right. <laughs> I go with Marcia. Pat says no cup chain. Okay, that, well, you know what? That makes it easier for me. That's better. Okay, yeah, this is still not great. But okay. Hey, I'm just, trying to. Yeah, you're doing great. You're doing great, Javi. Okay, oh, so sorry. now we see them. Oh. We're gonna try this, Marcia. Now see, you can see my light ring up here. Hey, you see our camera set there. Right. You can see I the, the social light it. camera up there. Okay, now, oh man, I hope there's no cleavage in here. That will look so stupid. If you sit down, Brenda. Okay, sit down. The mirror will do the, the oh, work. Okay, all right. I'm just not brilliant. Oh, okay, like that, and then reflect it in. Okay, Let's that, see. that'll go work. Down a little yeah, bit. I gotta go the other way. The other way. Other way. <laughs> It's not show. Sure. You had it once, and then you, it has to be that way back. Yeah, tilted. Okay. So you just can see that. Did I get out of the frame? Okay. There now, okay. There you go. You see my fat neck. All I right. can't see. This is at 18 inches. This is a great idea. This works. Yay! Okay. So um, this is how it is at 18. Now I could probably take it up a little bit. I don't like 16 on me because I got a fat neck, but. I could do a little bit up, and then it would be just like this. That one's sticking up because it's twisted there. Or, if I did it fully extended, let me show you that, since we've got a way to do it. This works. This is awesome. We just found another really good trick. <laughs> I'm telling you what. The Bible says in a multitude of counselors, and we got them here, let me tell you what. Okay, so now here it is fully extended. So it would be about 20 inches here. So if, you know, I just want to make sure everything's going flat. Okay, so, you know, this is fully extended. So it's right down there on my chest. Okay, let's go back. Yeah, perfect. You can see it good now. It's working, she says. Fran says, no. No what, Fran? <laughs> no necklaces. Perfect length for me, yeah, but maybe not somebody else. Love the 20 inches. So you like it longer, Nancy? Well, the, there's... There's that possibility because, you know, I made the extender. See, if I didn't have the extender, I wouldn't be able to do that. So 18 and 20 looks perfect, perfect. See, I think, you know what, I have to wonder if I show this to Mal, if he, might, he might watch this video later. Who knows? Once in a while, he gets in here watches He watches it. it. Yeah, I, I don't think he watches everything because, you know, we're just all yakking. But um, sometimes he watches the other one. The other day he said something about, the one we did last week, I think, and maybe say, aha, you watched. Yeah, well, I'm not saying. So I hope I didn't say anything mean about you that week. <laughs> so, no, you're good. So anyway, so what do you think, guys? Well, I think we're good. I don't think we need anything else on this. It's ready to go. Right? I like the extender. It gives the wearer flexibility to figure the perfect size. That's right, Deb. Perfect to 20. That's lovely. Very complimentary. I love that. Perfect. I love that. Doesn't matter. That looks awesome. Well, as much as I want to keep this sucker, 
I'll never wear it. What? I'll never wear it. I don't have anything that goes with this. I wear dark clothes. In well, it, it, it comes right out on the dark clothes. Well, yeah, it did come right out <laughs> on the black hair. I just don't think the clothes that I have look good with this. Besides which, anyway, I can always make another one, right? Julie Ken said, how long the extender should be? Um, this one, well, you know what? I usually try to do them two inches, but I eyeballed this one, so that's not entirely accurate. So let's measure it. Let's measure it and see. Oh, I got it double hooked. All right. Wrong way. Yeah, two inches. Two inches. I eyeballed it perfectly. It's two <laughs> inches. So it's 18 around the neck with a two inch extender. And um, one thing before I make any more of these, I'm going to have to get some more of this piece, which I swore I wouldn't carry because it costs more. Um, it's one of our more expensive pieces in that line, and it's because of the gold. But when I got them, everybody loved them, so I will reorder them soon. He told me to go ahead and put a casting order this week. So I'm going to. Anyway. So let's see what else. Ready to go. Oh, thanks, Franny. Looks good with the dark back. Yeah. It does. Okay, so here's the dealio today. Dealio. Since you guys helped me to make it, whoever wins today, the drawing is getting this necklace. It will be yours. How about that? Maybe somebody will even mistake it for 1928. <laughs> Because, you know, the mount's got the characteristic 1928, you know, markings in the back, and that's how you tell. Um, this isn't their gold, though. This gold's a little brighter than theirs. This oh, is really grayed Susie down. Susie B said, it does the clasp it in other places along the chain? Yes, it does. It does. Um, you can usually, you can, you know, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to show you. you because that's, that's another beautiful thing about bead and link, because mm -hmm. you can do that. The only thing is, is this is not a tiny clasp. So if you want to be sure you could do that without any mishaps, then you might want to go with a smaller cusp. But no, it fit really nice. See how that went on? Like butter. So yeah, you could hook it up as far as you want. If you have a skinny neck, go ahead and hook it up to 15, maybe. So it's all good. So Colleen likes our BSU 1920 gold. I do too. I, I do. love I love gold. Javi loves it too. I love it. So anyway, so this is gonna be the gift for today. For whoever wins the drawing, you're getting this. And then I will take my other tchotchkes over here that I made, and I'll figure something else out to do with them. And that's how we'll manage this. Because here's what I did. I was thinking maybe I would do this for around the neck, but it would just totally be too busy. In fact, it might be too busy for just about anything. I don't know. You guys tell me. So I was going to do this with the wedding cake. She's over here all happy. Yes. I'm, I'm looking for a little rubber chicken. Yes. Oh, she's looking for the rubber chicken. Okay. You're in charge of the rubber chicken. I better bring this down so you can see yeah. entirely where I'm going with it. Is that for a necklace, please? Yeah. yeah. You know what? Nice. You know what? I if that. I hook this all up, this would be pretty just like on its own. With a, you know, maybe a, a small pendant in the middle, like on a Y connector. You know, nothing, nothing fussy going on because the necklace part's fussy. Um, hmm, that's an interesting thought. Must, and then I was going to put these. Uh, I got to pull this down because you guys will never see it. You might not see the end now, but at least you know where I'm going with it. Okay, so I thought maybe I'd put these here for the back of the neck, and I put these here. But I don't know what I put in the middle quite yet. And I can't, I can't just, you know, I've been wanting to talk about this for some time too. You can't just put this here and hook it up and think it's going to lay right around your neck. This is too long. So when you make a beaded chain, when you get to this point, if you want it to just encircle your neck, you're either going to have to take and bend one of the pieces. So it will, and this has not got enough give to do that. Um, or you're going to need to put something in the middle, like put a Y connector or something. So, and I don't have a gold one here. I think, I think we're out of most of our gold ones right now. That's why I got to make that order this week. 
anyway, but I thought it'd be pretty, and then maybe just, I don't know, put a little bobble in the middle or something. Anyway, you know what? I'm going to, just for the sake of it, because it won't take long, and we're still talking, our time's not quite up yet. No. Um, I'm going to go ahead and hook it up. Oops, I'm sticking to this. <laughs> don't you hate that? You sit in a chair, and you behind end sticks to it. <laughs> Terrible. Then you mark the chair up. Ugh. I got jeans on. Anyway, let's just let's just do that and see what it looks like. And then I can show you my point in case you maybe don't understand. And then I'll see too if this is long enough because maybe it's not long enough to do what I wanted to do. Okay, so I'll just hook it up. Let's see what everybody's saying. New creation would be awesome without any centerpiece. I think so too, but we would have to put a middle piece in there, Cindy, that will flow with the piece because this will I'll show you in a minute it's just if I if I don't put something there it's not going to be right it's going to it's not going to hang right that's what I want to say and I will show you why in just a minute because this won't take very long to do okay since she likes the combination okay I do too now I'm going to tell you about this bead some of you know the story already so indulge me hey Chris K Yes, the gross connectors would be pr pretty, too. That's another one I think we're out of, though. But I will get them back. Don't worry about that one. That is not going away. Oh, those gross oh, yeah, yeah, we need those. Yeah, I've yeah. got to order, like, two, three hundred of those. I like those. Was it the connector or was it the white connector? Um, that's that's out, too. That's a white connector. That's out, too. There's, like, a whole page of it that's out. And it's like, this is not good. And that's why I told Mel, I says, look, I didn't get that last bill for you yet, but I'm going to. I says, I need to go ahead and order this. So if he goes, go ahead and get it. Aww, he's so sweet. Yeah, <laughs> he's a sweet guy. He knows it, though. You know what he <laughs> said today? I couldn't believe it. Because it's hard for Mel to like stuff I make. And I'm, I'm I, at least it seems like it. Maybe I'm wrong. Once in a while, he'll say, oh, you kicked that one out of the park out of the park or something. You knocked it out of the park. Or his, like, was one thing that I did, he liked the concept on it, and he adapted it for a piece of their joy, and I was real tickled about that. In fact, you girls that came to um, the uh, little thing that I had over at 1920, see, Miss Gloria was there. Um, you got one as your gift. That was the one he took from my idea. Um, but normally he isn't, you know, he's not into what I do because it's, you know, he's in too much stuff on it and blah, 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 and, you know, too too much money and too much stuff. Just don't need all that. And uh, today he said, Brenda, you need to start making jewelry again. You need to be a designer again. It's time. You've been away from it too long, and you're very good at it, which I was surprised. Or you're good at it or something like that. He didn't get too mushy about it, but he said, you're good at it. You should be doing it. It'll make you more money. Finished pieces make more money. Yeah, that's true, but my parts business is my lifeblood. And I love you guys, and I don't want to go away. I, I like to ferret out the good stuff. I have a lot of experience in this business, and I can do it. You know, so... I want to stay doing it, but yes, I long to make jewelry again, but it will not be put on my parts website because it doesn't sell there. And so there till I put it half price, and I just can't do that. I can't do the work of my hands that way. So um, I'm going to have to start another Etsy for it, and I, I said, you know what, Mel, I'll do that. I will. I'll do it as soon as the book is done because it, right now we're like in the, final stages and it's there's, it's crazy there's just so much we have to do we're doing rewrites like fools and I'm lining up pictures we're getting ready to scan them put them in folders and get them ready to be inserted and but you know we're coming down the finish line and when we get there there'll be a book and a very nice book at that so but yeah that made me feel good he said you need to do this again you need to be a designer again you know and he'd even said I could be a 1920 designer. I could make stuff under their name and, you know, with their tag, but I would be the one to sell it, and I'd be the only one to have it. But it would be legit because I would have written permission or something like that. from. Uh, I never did it. I tried a couple pieces, and then I just said, you know what? My trademark's coming. This is my name. I want to do it under my name. 
I don't know, maybe I will yet, because it's quite a privilege, but I don't know if I could ever get to say it was good enough, so I don't know. So I'm trying to see here. Okay, yes, I think so too, Fran. Also, it's too short. It's too short. But I'm going to show you. I'm going to show you something here, guys, to make my point. If I can just find a jump ring big enough. Oh. Here's one. This will work. Because I don't have a Y piece, so this this will work. Hopefully, this is not soldered. It looks like it might be though. Rats. Oh, I think I hear John coming home. He might. No, it's not soldered. Ha -ha. It's not soldered. Well, I hope he reads the sign on the bathroom door. Yeah. <laughs> this go, sign on doesn't go. Doesn't go. Flush it. Because you guys will know. I'm in my house. My office is in my house. Or you will hear rubber chicken. <laughs> yes, right. Okay, so the reason I put this great big fat jump ring here is because you need this to hang a pendant from. Now, I wouldn't recommend using a big fat jump ring, but I don't have the right connector to do it. So in lieu of that, I'm doing this. So you can get the point. Okay. All right, so now you can see it's going to hang nice. If I didn't put that there, it would hang together like this, and it would be all lumpy around your neck in the front. It would not hang right. So in the case of where you're doing sections with big beads, in the middle place, you're going to have to do maybe one single bead. That would work. That would make it hang right. Or do a centerpiece and a little bobbly thing. So now what bobbly would that be? Well, we could do this. I'm not crazy about it. What if we did this, this, and this? What do you think? Something like that? Can you see good enough? Is it bright enough? Mm -hmm. Good. Put it above the pearl. Hey, Barbara Kelly. We packed your pearls this morning. I oversaw it, so if there's a problem, you can get on my case, okay? Because I did it. I see what you mean. Yeah, see, it's pretty smaller focal with a wide connector, yeah. The, the, yeah. Yeah, well, we're getting them, Colleen. Don't worry, I'm doing an order this week. Then it has to make them. It's two and, two and a half to three weeks to get them made. Then they come back here. Then I have to put them in the bags for the colors. They go to the plater, and they come back in about a week to ten days. So it'll be a little while, but at least we'll have them. And of those pieces, those, you know, essentials, I'm getting a lot. And he will let me. Okay, so that's kind of what I had in mind for it. Something kind of like that. But we shall see. Too close to matching the beads. It does match the beads. That white twisty pearl. You want me to do the white twisty pearl? Okay. Maybe that's better. And we have these Baroques going. These are Miriam Haskell pearls right here. I don't know. I think this is going to stick up too much on your chest it's, it's two dimensional it would need to be for longer which of course I could make this longer I could keep going out the back with small beads or maybe even a little piece of chain could do that but then if I make it too long I'm going to need more going on there I think so anyway it's food for thought maybe I'll do something with it this week and we'll talk about it a little bit next week how's that or maybe it would be good if I just, okay. What if I had something like that on the bottom? Another piece of gold and embellished it. What do you guys mm -hmm. think? Is it too much? Maybe even just a, yeah. Well, even Are they silver pearls or not pink leak? Is my screen making them look silver? Your screen's making them look silver, honey. They're, they're, they're gold. They're gold. Yeah. So what do you think about, put, you know, I, I'm, I already got this on the other piece. I'm not taking it off. It's the giveaway piece. But what do you think if I put did something like that and put on there? I, I kind of like that. I'm not liking this big round thing. I just no. did it for, you know, the purpose of showing you. Yeah, but a Maybe connector. if I go through my stuff, maybe I'll find a Y connector. That would be great. Because I think it's best with a Y connector and then something like this, maybe. 
Yeah, Karen says she likes a smaller focal than that. Well, we have them. So yeah. I'll look around and see what I got, and we will reconvene and talk about it next week, okay? Maybe with along with some other do damn thing. Now, I got something I want to talk to you about, tell you. Um, I might have to have Javi go get it for me, though. Um, do you see that bag in front of the printer over there? And then there's another little bag next to it. If you would be so kind as to bring them. Okay. So. Okay, so, you know, normally, you know, on, on uh, live session night, um, I, you know, give out a really nice gifty. You know, it's a random drawing, so get your name on here, say something, you might win. Um, and then I like to do a little gift with purchase, but not a big purchase so that, you know, you could still get it. You know, maybe you don't have a lot to spend. Maybe you spent your money for this week. Well, maybe this works for you. If it doesn't, don't sweat it. There'll be another one. Hey, Mary Solaris. Haven't seen you for a while. So anyway, what I have for you this week is this. And it doesn't look like there's much there, but there is. Let me show you what's there. These are very unique. We do not have them on the website, and we will not have them on the website. Now, I have several styles of them, and they're cast metal, made in the United States in the 70s. So they're vintage. All right? And there's a couple that have some enamel on them, but they're mostly like this. I mean, you guys have probably seen pieces like this before. It's a charm holder. It's very, very delicate, but it's very nicely made. Can you use it, get down there on it, Javi, and see if it, you can get it looking a little bit bigger? Yeah. Yeah, you could put a rose on there. Why not? Okay, now 1928 didn't make these. I don't know who did, but they are made in the U.S. And it's got the charm holder. They're good quality. And so it comes open like that, and you can put your little charms and stuff in it. I'll just throw a few things on here so you get the idea. In case you guys have never seen them or don't remember. These were really popular in the late 70s, early um, 80s. The first piece of jewelry I ever bought from 1928 jewelry was a charm holder. And it was gold. And I still have it. And it looks like the day I bought it. No kidding. So here's a few little doodads on there. And I'm going to hook it shut. I think I did a video on doing charm holder jewelry. But you kind of get the sense of it. I mean, I don't know that I would do this. It's but screen. Okay. There you go. I don't know that I would do this. But it's just, you know, to give you an idea. But yeah, you could put a little stone there. Or you could put a little rose or something. It'd make a nice, delicate necklace. Very, very nice one. And... If you do an order for me tonight for 35 bucks up after coupon use, I'll give you one. And there's a few little beads in the bag, too. They're out of one of our purple beads. I think it's out of the black amethyst mix. So everyone has a few little beads in there to play with as well. So you get one of those and this stuff, and they are not going to be on the website. You're not going to be able to buy them later. Um, they're a special pur purchase, and I've bagged them all up. So 35 and up, and here's the dealio. That 10% coupon is still good. So you should put that in because you don't have a minimum order with that. Any order, any size, you get 10%. So if 35, what is that, 350? Not shabby, right? The only thing I have to say to you, though, is your order has to be 35 after coupon use. So you'd have to bump it up a little tiny bit. But then you would get this special gift, which we are not going to have available anywhere else. So, there you go. If it's a good time for you. If it's not, don't sweat it. We'll be all right. It's all good. I'm just saying it's here if you want to do it. The 10% coupon is still good. Where's a pen? Here, here's one. I'm just going to write on my paper. And I'll get, that gives me a good excuse to get a new paper for next week, right? Okay, it goes like this, 10%, all caps, that's 10% off any size order. I've never done that before, and it's not going to happen again for a very, very long time, for sure. So, you know, go ahead and use it, it's good till tomorrow night at midnight. So you got 10%. 
10% off any order any size. So you could use it with that and go up to 35 and get uh, get a charm holder too, vintage charm holder. Um, then if you have a larger order, use this, this code, L-A-B-O-R, labor, all caps. And then you get 25% off 100. Let's write that in here. And up. So those are the codes this week. Um, I will tell you that the um, I'm out of the gift of purchase from last week, but the week is you know basically over anyway. You know, so it, you know if I give you this, this is what you're going to get. We didn't have the other one anyway anymore, but there are some good deals. And of course, at fifty, you get uh, free U.S. shipping, and that's not anything to sniff at. So. Anyway, that's the deal I have for you tonight. There's no other special code. The only codes I have are the ones that we have in force right now. And then um, 35 and up, you'll get this. Cute, cute little thing. Cuteness. Uh, uh, Mary said, do you need to mention anything to get the charm holder? Besides you know, you, it, it never hurts. It never hurts to do that because over the last several weeks or so, oh, yeah. I've been driving our poor shippers nuts. You heard how we go, yeah. You know, we have all these different gifts with purchases and then do this and you get this. Do We're not going to be able to do that anymore. We'll have maybe one thing or do one goodie bag that everybody at a certain level gets and try to make it special or something. You, you'll like it more than anybody else out there is doing, that's for sure. But um, it'll be fun. That's what we like to do, keep it fun. So, so yeah, just put... Just put in the uh, memo, charm holder. Hey, Deborah Boldek, we're glad you made it. You're not too late. You're not too late. We're not doing sugar beads, Lynn, so you're good. It's all done. Well, I know, this on this one there's sugar beads, but they're already on there. So, I don't know. I have to finish this one yet. We'll finish it next week. How's that? So, I love these. I'm going to have to keep one. Anyway, I have a whole sack of them. I have plenty. I'm not going to run out tonight. There's plenty. So that's all you have to do if there's anything we have that you want. And if there isn't, don't worry about it. There's always another week. Uh, somebody said if you could put your necklace back on. Oh, you want to see that? You want to see this again? I think both of them. Maybe. Both of them? Okay, sure. We'll do that. Mm -hmm. We got time for that. I know but yeah, well, who, whoever them. wins today, the free, you know, the free gift. Um, <laughs> you're gonna get this. I'm gonna give it to you. I don't know what. I don't know what that. Hey, let's talk about this. How much would you sell that for? Oh, I I seen somebody put a price. Did somebody put a price on this? How much do you think? I'm gonna tell you what you got in it. And my prices, you have maybe seven dollars in the chain. The pearl beads don't cost much at all. Whatever your bead caps would cost, and these are mine. I didn't have one on the site, but you, you know, you get like a quarter pound of these pearl oh, beads for like eleven ninety five. So not very much. Forty seven. Chris says okay. And then this costs ten dollars. And then you have the ceramic beads. There's four of them in there. The ceramic roses. There's four of them in there. So that's I don't know. Another four bucks, maybe, maybe three. So this is called three. Three, seven, ten, ten, twenty, um, four jump rings and pearl beads and caps. Let's put another five on there. Twenty nine dollars? Did you count them out? Huh? Did you count them out? Yeah, I did. Mm -hmm. Now this mount's expensive. Yeah. You might want to make it in silver. Somebody said they're all going with they're all gone anyway so you don't have to worry about it <laughs> i am getting them again but yeah if you use something that has this in it it's going to have to be a more expensive piece but i think it might not be something you sell like immediately but i think you will sell it, especially if you take a really good picture of it if you're doing it online or if you're doing it at a show do a really nice display around it. i think you'll sell it now deborah long says 85 Hmm. And you know what? I bet Deborah could get it too. Yeah, a lot of them are saying. 85. Debbie Nicolaus is eighty-five. Chrissy says eighty-five. Pamela says seventy-nine. Karen Maslow says sixty to eighty. 
75 plus the four is 35. No, honey, you wouldn't, even, you wouldn't make anything that. if that's too cheap. That is too cheap. And you know what? Here's the thing. I can see like 45, but like 30. You know, um, <laughs> I don't talk enough, I don't think, about how good the stuff from our site is. Now, any of you that buy it know that. But I, I go to great lengths to get stuff nobody else has. And stuff that's really, really good quality is going to hold up for you. And good parts don't come cheap. And your work should not come cheap either. That's why when I finally get to make myself a jewelry store, my jewelry will not be cheap, and I will never sell it for 50% off again. Never. Because the work of my hands is worth more than that, and so is yours. So, you know, if you have a crowd who follows you that they just can't spend that much, then maybe you would not want to use this mount. Maybe you would want to just do this necklace with nothing down here and just do the pearls. In that case, you wouldn't have a ton in it and you wouldn't have much time. I mean, I mean, I made both of these here. Well, I did have my stuff hooked up already. That, that helped. But I, I did both of these in our time together today. So, but yeah, if you can't get enough for it, not to be critical of anybody because we know every area is different. Mm -hmm. But sometimes it's about your salesmanship a little bit to let them know, hey, do you know these are 1920 jewelry company parts? I know a lot of the girls who buy them put a little sign. They'll put a little sign on their on their table and say that they you know, get their parts from 1928. There's something to that. People have closed the sale many times because they saw this quality. And it's made in the United States. And it's made for me. He doesn't have these in the, in the factory hanging around. I have them made. They are custom made for me and sent out to my plater. And my plating is custom made also. So you're, I mean, you're getting something good. That's 22 carat plating. Now it's, it's a dip. It's not, carat, it's not gold plated 22K. But it's a dip. It's still 22K though. There is gold in there. So I mean... Yeah, it's a good piece. So remember always to build quality in your designs and don't give it away. There always comes a place where we have to, you know, like I said, liquidate, you know. Um, maybe the thing to do, if someone's not selling for you, take it off and reinvent it instead of just throwing it out there, you know. Or take it off and then come back and show it again later after they forgot about it. Or like rearrange your display a little bit. Maybe you didn't do a good enough picture, that kind of thing. So that's just my suggestion, my thought about it. Let's see what everybody else is say. Uh, not just your hands, your design thoughts and creativity counts. So yes, it does. Yes, it does, Mary, very good. Hey, Pamela, glad you made it. Oh, Denise, that's very kind to you. And you know what? I don't want to sound like a brat, but I have to agree with you. Nothing compares to my things. Who has 1928 jewelry parts? Nobody. I don't want to do hard sell, but that's just the facts. And sometimes, that's you know, true, I've worked very hard on selling my coupons and how I can give you discounts, which is good because I, I, I want to give you things. But at the, bot at the end of the day, these are high-end items, and no one else has them. So when you get my parts, you're getting, you're getting a deal already. And that's a fact. You really are. So, anyways, this lace mount is gorgeous. It is. I put this on my table. Yeah, Claire does it. Claire does it. She says, Mom, I agree. I love the mount. I'm getting it again. Pearl drop earrings. Hey, that's something you can yes. do for people. You know, the pearl drops don't cost much at all. All you have is a head pin, a couple, uh, uh, some bead caps. I used a, a rondelle on there, so that made it a little bit more. Yeah, and then you're, you know, so you can make those earrings for like, I don't know, three bucks maybe, yeah. and then call them fifteen bucks. And people probably buy them because people yeah. love pearl drops, they pear do. drops. They love <laughs> them. They never get tired of them. Just pearls in general. Or you know, <laughs> you could just make a little pair of the little bobbly pearls. You know, it's like little, little ones like that. You wouldn't have to make it into a whole big long drop. It's little and throw them in with the purpose. Because if you make earrings out of this. You don't have much in this at all. And you buy from me in those quarter pound mixes, I mean, you probably don't hardly have a penny in that. Then you have, well, maybe five cents. I don't know. Not much. And then you'll have a couple of um, 
those bead caps, and then you're going to have a, a head pin, and then your ear wire. You probably make those for under a dollar. At that rate, throw them in. Make them a pair of earrings. Let's see, do I have another one? I'll tell you what. Whoever gets this, insofar as I can find my ear wires. <laughs> oh, yeah. Here they are. I thought they were. Here somewhere. they are. Yeah, I knew I just bought a big bag of them. Okay, <laughs> so here's my ear wires. I'm going to make them right now so they're done. You're getting a pair of earrings with it, too. Because that's a way to sell something like this, okay? Yeah. Something that costs yeah. a little bit more money. Throw in a pair of earrings, and voila. Yeah, there you go, baby. Go with and you know, that everybody, I mean, everybody loves a little pair of pearl drops. I mean, throw them on with anything, you know? So, it's always good. Are those pearls in my assortment? Some of them are. They're not all in your assortment but yeah some of them are definitely in your assortment i took good care of you barb don't worry about it believe me i did on purpose you are gonna like it so yeah always do the earrings i love it when i get to hang out oh franny that is so sweet you made my day besides merle telling merle mel telling me i should design jewelry again which was really really sweet that really encouraged me a lot um tell me i should do that again and then you're saying it made your day. Well, it made my day now. You know, you like that. You love to hang out. I love to hang out. I look forward to this. And I like I like our brainstorming sessions. I don't know if people come along and don't know us already like it, but I didn't get another video done on Friday. We hope to have one this Friday. A chicken saying our time Sorry. is up. No, the chicken didn't. I chicken is saying it's time to go. No, Erica, Erica. Well, we are over. Erica finally made it. She Where's said. Erica <laughs> at? I don't see her. She's right there at the bottom. Set third at the bottom. <laughs> oh, Erica. Hey, how you doing, honey? How did your eye thing go? She had some kind of a procedure on her eye. Aww. Yeah, we love our Erica. She's so sweet. You're all so sweet. You're yeah, all you wonderful. Off. You're all <laughs> wonderful people. I love you. All, I mean, legitimately, I really do. If we were all in one room together, could you imagine? Some of us <laughs> have been. Some of us have been. So you know how it is. That is an awesome, awesome time every May. Hey, yeah, come and join us. <laughs> yeah, come and join us. So, okay, so I think we got to wrap it up for now because I'm going to go make dinner, and I think some of you probably have already left to do that. <laughs> but anyway, remember your deal. I'm going to do the charm holder thing free with 35 up this evening. If you go up over 50, you get free shipping too. So, you know, and we will have new things on the site pretty soon. I, in fact, I expect this week that we'll have some bead mixes toward the end of the week because I, I still have to sort through my beads. I got like 100 pounds from, from 1928. I'll just leave that sit there. And I got a good 50, 60 from somewhere else. And then I've got all that stash. You know, I got to go down there sometime and take a picture of that mess. I'll have Javi or somebody come down and take a picture of me sometime when I'm making a mix. And you'll see what a wreck it is. <laughs> it's not, you know, my workshop is kind of sweet, but that is not, <laughs> that is a rough part of the basement. But hey, we get the work done and that's all that matters. Okay, so I'm going to go with the Christmas effect how the necklace drapes. Uh, I don't think so, but I think we all agreed that it was better off with them. But, you know, that's up to you. And we do have those crystals at the website. Yes, we do. And um, if you bought from us last week, we had that freebie package where there were some in that tube. We're out of that. I can't do that anymore. So, anyway. Okay, Barbara, we're glad you were able to come. I've missed you for a while, so that's good. Violet, thank you for coming. Michelle, Cindy, Marsha, Nancy, yeah. Julie. Comments in. So yeah, I know. Julie hasn't been feeling well yeah. either. Is this all? Send our love to Julie. Send our love, to, send Julie. love to Julie. She feels she feels better soon because I know it's been discouraging. Carol Carlson, Carlson was here. I didn't know you were here, Carol. I'm sorry. I try to say hi to everybody, but I know I miss people. So. Hi, everybody. <laughs> yeah, some weeks I miss you. So if I miss you, just keep talking. I'll see you eventually. Okay, this was great. Thanks, Chris, for coming. You're awesome. You're all awesome. Yay! You guys are the best. Remember, Bisu by 1928. I got a pen. And uh, Bisu Boutiques is the home of good stuff. www.com. No, no, www.bisuboutiques.com. That's it. We'll put it in the, 
in the margin of notes. In case yeah. you don't know, but I imagine most, most of you do. It's all in the description okay. below. Okay. <laughs> all right. Thanks so much, guys. This was really fun. Here's your codes one last time. And uh, we'll see you around, okay? See you on the, see you on the group. I'm going to get Javi take a picture of this now before she leaves. So, love you. Bye. Bye.